What if you're stuck in a pitch black, dark space, one that looks like a void with vast emptiness that seems to stretch endlessly? Now, it's not just the unending darkness that makes this place mysterious. What is mysterious is the fact that this void seems to be crammed with pure nothingness, or better call it, the Great Nothing. Welcome to the Space Tech Gazette. Today, we're going to talk about one such mystery of the largest voids in the visible universe, the Bootis Void. The Bootis Void, often called the Great Nothing, is a big, round, empty region located near the Bootis constellation. Unlike other parts of the universe, this region has very few galaxies. That's why it's called a void. Imagine a gigantic bubble with the size of about 330 million light years across. This bubble is one of the biggest empty spaces we can see in the universe, and scientists call it a supervoid. The center of this void is positioned quite far away from us, about 700 million light years from Earth. It's interesting because there are very few galaxies in this void. Want to uncover the full story? Let's get started! In 1981, a scientist named Robert Kirshner found the Bootis Void while studying the shifts in the light coming from galaxies, known as galactic redshifts. Robert Kirshner was working with his fellow astronomers at the University of Michigan, and they were busy calculating redshifts. Just so you know, redshifts indicate how quickly something is moving away from Earth for numerous galaxies. Since our universe is expanding, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it moves. This relationship between distance and speed, as indicated by redshift, allows scientists to measure how far away something actually is. Kirshner and his team utilized this redshift information as a tool to construct a three-dimensional map of the universe. In short, they were using the motion of galaxies, inferred from redshifts, to create a detailed representation of the spatial arrangement of celestial objects in our vast cosmos. Now, as the astronomers continued to create their map of the universe, they noticed something unusual. At a distance of 700 million light years from Earth, there was a large, empty space. This empty space formed a roughly spherical region about 330 million light years in width, and it's so vast that you could fit the Milky Way billions of times within it. What was immensely striking was that this enormous region had very few galaxies compared to other parts of the universe. At first, people called this large empty space the Great Nothing. However, it was later renamed the Bootis Void because it seemed to be located in the constellation of Bootis. Bootis is a figure from mythology who is often depicted as a herdsman guiding the plow, also known as the Big Dipper, around the North Pole in the night sky. So, the void got its name from its apparent position in relation to this constellation. Scientists have conducted surveys that allowed them to make more detailed maps of our universe. These maps revealed that galaxies are organized in a vast interconnected structure resembling a giant web. In this cosmic web, most galaxies are situated along lengthy structures called filaments, which weave through space. When these filaments intersect, they form areas with a dense gathering of galaxies, referred to as clusters. The universe has a structured pattern where galaxies are connected through these filamentous pathways. These galaxies then gather in concentrated clusters where the filaments meet. Among these cosmic threads, there are vast empty voids with hardly any galaxies. These empty voids make up about 80% of what we can observe in the universe. Most of them are quite large, ranging from 30 to 300 million light years across. Bootis, in particular, is one of the biggest of these empty voids, giving it the title of a supervoid. But how was this giant void formed? According to scientists, Bootis came into existence when smaller voids merged gradually over time. This merging process led to the formation of the larger Bootis Void. However, not all scientists are on the same page. Some argue against the idea that Bootis Void became so expansive through the merging of smaller voids. They believe that since the Big Bang, there hasn't been enough time for a void of this immense size to develop. In both cases, the cause that led to this giant void traces back to the beginning of the universe. So, let's go back in time then. 
In the early stages of the universe, all the matter in the universe was closely packed together. At first, it was like a smooth and even mixture, but then small variations in the distribution of matter occurred due to random quantum fluctuations. These fluctuations led to the formation of regions with more and less matter, eventually contributing to the creation of the voids we observe today. Certain regions became a bit denser, which meant they had stronger gravitational forces. As a result, these denser areas pulled matter away from the less dense ones. This made the denser regions even more compact, increasing their gravitational pull once again. This cycle continued with the denser regions attracting more and more matter. At the same time, the entire universe was getting bigger as it was expanding. The small variations that began at the quantum level expanded over vast distances, reaching hundreds of millions of light years. While all of this was happening, smaller clumps of matter started organizing themselves into galaxies. These clumps gradually came together, forming the galaxies we see in the universe today. So, the initial tiny differences in density, combined with the expansion of the universe, played a crucial role in shaping the large-scale structures we observe, including voids and galaxies. But wait, there seems to be a twist here. What if the Bootis void is not a void in the first place? What if it's something else? That brings us to a popular confusion surrounding the Bootis void. That is, its association with Bernard 68. The Bootis void is sometimes linked with pictures of Barnard 68, a dark nebula that blocks light from passing through. However, it's important to note that the images of Barnard 68 appear much darker than those of the Bootis void. This darkness is because Barnard 68 is closer to us, and there are fewer stars between it and us. Additionally, Barnard 68 is a physical mass that physically obstructs the passage of light, contributing to its deeper darkness in images compared to the Bootis Void. So, what exactly is the force behind the Bootis Void? We will tell you in a bit. If this journey by now ignited your curiosity, remember to like and comment on what your favorite part is of this big void. And don't forget to subscribe because your support fuels our mission to bring you the latest news about space and space technologies. Back to the matter at hand. Well, it all boils down to the driving force that is causing the universe to expand, and that is nothing but dark energy. Understanding quantum mechanics can be a bit mind-bending, but it's good to have a basic idea. Dark energy is a force that scientists are still trying to figure out. What they do know is that it plays a crucial role in pushing galaxies apart, causing the universe to expand. This mysterious energy actually makes up about 68% of the entire universe. So, our understanding of the Bootis Void's origin totally depends on uncovering the mystery behind dark energy. Until we grasp how dark energy operates, the full story behind the creation of the Bootis Void will remain elusive. It's crucial to investigate and dive deep into why and how these vast empty voids exist. Even the puzzle regarding why only a few galaxies are found in these remote areas continues to persist. And so does the seemingly defying fact that the gravitational pull that should push them outward. So, the primary goal that scientists are focusing on is the mystery behind the origin, as well as the expansion of the universe. Thanks to improvements in telescope and imaging technology, scientists can now make more detailed versions of maps, like the ones Robert Kirshner worked on. For example, the Dark Energy Survey has mapped out a significant portion of the southern sky, looking at approximately 300 million galaxies. This survey helped astronomers get a clearer picture of what the universe was like in its early stages. Moreover, powerful supercomputers can now generate detailed simulations showing how the universe expanded from its initial moments after the Big Bang to the vast cosmos we observe today. When astronomers compare the maps of the actual universe with these computer simulations, they can start figuring out the processes that shaped our universe into its current appearance. Our understanding is still incomplete, and until we solve the mystery of how the universe started, we must continue to explore the unknown. That concludes our cosmic journey through the Bootis Void right here on the Space Tech Gazette. If you want to know more about some of the most amazing space facts or technologies out there, you can watch one of these videos next.
And as always, keep gazing at the stars, for the cosmos is a boundless source of wonder.